Um, I kind of meant like, like what? What's your definition of good? Oh, uh, I didn't literally mean like what is good. <laughs> <laughs> like what's good, bro? Yeah. Uh, shit, man. My definition of good is, I mean, essentially the same thing. Like you know, just being able to breathe and, you know, what I'm saying being able to. So you breathe and wake up and eat and yeah, you know, basic human functions, being able to do that is sure. definitely good. <laughs> That's yeah, the thing. Definitely. Keeping the same answer. <laughs> What'd y'all do today? Ah, uh, shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to the daily grind and then got off of the daily grind and then... Isn't that, isn't that like a coffee? The daily grind? And like a cartoon? Yeah, that sounds like a cartoon coffee time. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I think it is. But yeah, and then picked up boy Malcolm, fucking played a little 2K, you know what I'm saying? That nigga's always playing sports. Hey, man. <laughs> Look like a sport, nigga. I used to fuck with basketball, man, before I started hanging with you guys in the Narke. Mm -hmm. Skateboarding and shit. Sports. Skateboarding's a sport. You like sports? Yeah. I, I ain't knocking all sports. <laughs> just uh, some sports. Right. Just, just that sorry. just that sport. Some. Just that sport. Any any sport that, that you like. <laughs> uh, I like skateboarding too. For for this moment in time, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna accept that. <laughs> um you just had a show. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that Saturday. go? It How was, was that? tight. I had people eating each other out, listening to fucking Playboy Cardi. <laughs> Living a life. Uh, yeah, like it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. I, I fucked with the the design. So, like, could you explain like the concept of of the show a little bit? Because it was uh, like Jesus loves porn stars, right? Yeah, the I originally got it from um, like a I don't know what to call it. Not an advertisement, but like a something that like the Christian community had started. Um, they just started saying Jesus loves porn stars to get the porn star's mental, like, health up because right, they're right. committing suicide. That's important. Yeah. So Very important. They were just like, yeah, Jesus loves porn stars. And I was like, that's a good concept for a show because it's like, you look at it and it's like very shocking to see kind of like Jesus and porn together. Yeah. But it's also just like very, like, human like a very human statement to be like, yeah, it's all right. Like if you love women, you love this statement type thing. Right. Like and you if can't you love Jesus, like, <laughs> yeah, know, exactly. Like, it's, it's, it's like it's blasphemous to not like it. Exactly. So the, like Jesus loves everybody. So Jesus approved. Yeah, it's really funny. You're, you're good. Like I feel like Christians a lot, especially kind of like. They're very, like, a lot of them are kind of, like, very judgmental people. Yeah. It's just, like, they we kind of forget that uh, Jesus does love porn stars. Like, Jesus loves everybody. Right. And, yeah. Any, anybody who actually, like, understands, like, Christianity or, like, really, like, the, there's, there's so much, like, um, what's the word? Like, hip hypocrisy. Uh, because that's the fact. Jesus loves everybody. Yeah. Right. Doesn't matter if they're a porn star. Doesn't matter if they're a business owner. Doesn't matter if they're a porn business owner. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know. So that's where I was coming with. All that. Hell oh, yeah, man. Good time. How would you say that it compared to the other ones? Like each step up, do you do you think that like each time it, it was like a a better one or which was your favorite one? Yeah, I like to say like. Whichever one I have more of a concept usually turns out being my favorite one. Like mm -hmm. every time I don't have a concept, every time every time I do something different or try to. So it's just like this one, I feel like I liked it a lot more because it was very direct in what it was. And like I had a better space and like I had someone styling, like I had a lot more help right. and things just like, th I feel like things come along a lot better like every show, like I just they get better and better. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, this last show is my favorite show, <laughs> and the next one will probably be <laughs> my favorite uh, one after. after that. That, that's yeah. that's how it, that's how it should be. Uh, like, like to me in in my mind, every every artist should be their favorite artist. Mm -hmm. uh, and you could apply that to music. You could apply that to fashion. Apply that to 
drawing pictures, painting, what, whatever. Yeah. You know, like the the point of creating art is to you you felt a need for something that was missing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. So, yeah. Mister, so Mister Tudor. Yep. Yep. You you make music as well. Indeed. All right. You do a lot of things. Yeah. You do a lot of things. Yeah, I do. Dabble in the singing, dabble in the rapping, dabble in the production. Well-rounded young man. Yep, I dabble in those things. Dibble, dabble. Do a little bit of dabbling. A little bit of dibbling. A <laughs> little bit of dibbling, a little bit of dabbling. <laughs> sprinkle dinkle. Together. They don't know about that sprinkle. They don't know about the sprinkle <laughs> dinkle. <laughs> I think that video is still up. <laughs> it probably <laughs> is. Somewhere like hidden in like the deep corners of YouTube. I can find it. You probably can. I can find it. Sprinkle dinkle. Yeah, man. I uh, I do those three things. I don't know. I feel like I do them pretty well. Mm-hmm. I agree. <laughs> I agree. What's your favorite uh, project you released so far and why? Oh, my favorite project. It's not to distract from the question because I'm going to answer it, but like just an outside question. Like, how did you? Because you, you made, you got more projects than I do. So, and we both have a lot of music out. So, like, when somebody asks you that, like, is that a hard question for you? Hmm. Right. It should it should be a hard question because again, you should be a favorite artist. Yeah, <laughs> word. Um, I think my favorite album of mine is probably still Trip. That is a good album. Because um, it's like, I think it's like when you have, it's one of those albums when you have an idea and you you hear it back and you, you know what I'm saying, I, I feel like I executed an idea perfectly. Mm-hmm. You know, it might not be perfect. It might not be the perfect album. I don't think it's, you know, going to be everybody's favorite. But to me, it was an idea that I had. And it worked perfectly, in my opinion. And that's why I think. Right. And music is always subjective. Yeah. You know, sometimes, like, one day, like, this might be your favorite. Like, the next, another day, you might be feeling a little type of way. Facts. Like, speaking a certain type of way. Then you make a project called. <laughs> I feel different, <laughs> I feel different, different ways. Different ways. <laughs> yeah. Two of them. Yep. With Big Cat. Shout yep. out to Big Cat, man. Shout out to Big Cat. Homie, I haven't seen him since it's he been was out ages. Here. Ages. Yeah. Wow, that was a good yep. segue. Definitely ages. But yeah, man. Uh, trip. I think I like trip because also because um, it was like a lot more experimental than anything I had ever done before. Um, I was just and I was just listening to a lot of like funk music at that time, just like a whole bunch of different shit. And it was a part of a, you know, two part. Yeah, I was about to say it was a split album. album. Mm-hmm. Ego, Ego trip. trip. Uh-huh. So on my site, you can get uh, j to the q dot com. You can plug. get <laughs> both of them. Yeah, a little plug there. You can get both of them put together. Should. Ego and Trip. That's the only place you can get it. Um, but on streaming, you can listen to Ego or Trip. And uh, yeah, Ego is like the more you know rap one, and Trip is like the more experimental, funky one. So essentially, you're saying that the basic people got one side. No people are no, less not basic. Even basic because I think ego. And a lot of people like ego uh, more than trip. I had I did like a poll thing on my story, and a lot of people I think ego won. And uh, mm. because I mean, it was still it was still all made during that like during the same time. So I feel like I was I was experimenting in ways uh on that album too that weren't like traditional just rap so i don't think it was basic by any means but uh it was just more of what people would be used to hearing you know right. from yeah. a, i guess hip-hop i was artists. saying your music was basic i was saying oh no no no, no listener I ain't, yeah. I ain't scared to call the listener basic <laughs> um but yeah um my favorite album by you is joshua Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah, That's, I that was that was such a. I I figured I figured. Put that out there. It's but like, I admire the the approach, right. like the way that that album was was made. 
Yeah. You know, that was just a real inspirational way to make. I never seen nobody in no type of music do that. Why? So I was like, that's that's hard. That like gave me a different way to approach some shit. That's so, hard. Yeah, that that's hard. Well, no, that's tight. That gives me a new spin on it and a perspective of it. Just because, you know, quality-wise, I look back at that album and I'm just like, you know, it was... I guess if I if, if I could make an album like that now, it'd be it'd be different. But it wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be at that time and what, what I was going through then. And uh, I really still like all the production on that album. Right. Yeah. Music, like releasing music, I, I feel, is like a snapshot. Yeah. It's just like a, a life snapshot. Like, but then, like, I've kind of, cause, cause I feel the same way. Like, I, everything that I, I released, I, I kind of feel like I like shouldn't have released it, or like <laughs> should get it remixed, yeah. or like do do something like that. But um, you could also still remake them songs, you know. True. You can still do videos for them. You can still turn them into other things. There's nothing stopping you from doing that or, like, that's saying that you can't do that. Not a lot of people do it, but I don't see why they don't. Yeah. You know? Like, imagine if, if you had a favorite artist and then they randomly released a film with, like, a bunch of music from, like, their second album or some shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, like... The album Joshua for me was, I feel like, what Steve the Bullet to Heaven mm. was Kid Cudi. Like, That's the one mm. with the with the cover that was like... He's in the forest with the shirt yeah. off. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's got the, the Mr. Krabs blur on it, the meme. <laughs> <laughs> Never looked at it that way, but now, <laughs> now I can't even imagine it. No, I, did. I did it before the meme came out, and now I was like, every time I see that blur on any picture, I'm like, oh, that's the that Mr. Funny. Krabs meme. Yeah. Like, uh. Memes literally took over the world on like no, how people did. even see things oh, anymore. God. Like, oh god. We can't see like certain people and certain things like the same way anymore just because mm. of a meme. Like people <laughs> have like a whole like history and people have a whole like life and then we're just like, but the meme, yeah. like <laughs> that's You can't escape it. <laughs> if you become a meme, you, you can't mean, escape bro, it. Like, and then like like now the way that everything works like there's so much content all the time that like everybody is memeable at every second. Yeah. So like. And it's so up. fast, yeah. yeah. Like tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? You'll see you a meme come up. up. You're like, what is this? Like <laughs> I found myself sometimes like going back and searching for the context of the memes. I'm like, where? What the, why are people laughing at this fucking tomato? Like you know what I'm saying? Like. It can be anything. Like it's, it's layers. So many layers. It's an onion. No oh God. Definitely. It's onion cake. Okay. Speaking of onion, have y'all ever um, used like Tor? Tor, what's that? The the like onion browser, like the deep web like browser thing uh -huh. about. Um, oh yeah, I, I yeah. Have actually, dabbled. Yeah, dabbled. Weird world. Yeah, going on the deep web like prior to like it being pretty big like was like a whole thing like you had to do so much i think yeah. you still have to do so much to get there but it was like a whole thing before like a whole journey <laughs> yeah it definitely was harder before now like in in some browsers not not like the main browsers that most people use but like in some browsers you could just directly do it um but like you know you're vulnerable as shit Mm -hmm. You know, like if you don't have a VPN or whatever, like that. That's why I don't really dabble in all that. Yeah. But it's there. It's <laughs> it's crazy how like there it is. It, it's so always easily there. Yeah. You know, like the I don't see why it's ever been like a big deal. Mm. It's yeah. One of the things that we make we make a lot of big deals about a bunch of random shit. Yeah. yeah that is true. Shit lays, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, niggas are just like onion, starving outside. Iceberg, <laughs> lettuce, tomato. Yeah, you know, sandwich. I used to hate tomatoes. Really? Why? Because I didn't. You know what? I just didn't like the taste. <laughs> I, I didn't like the taste. Like, Look yeah. at you now. Are you a changed man? I am, man. You like tomatoes? I wouldn't say they're like in my top. <laughs> but you eat a tomato. Fruit. You take a bite. Technically, yeah. but. I'll eat them. I'll eat them. <laughs> you take a bite like like pure Ew. tomato? No, I'm just going to bite. 
What what if it was it was the right tomato? That what if they just called it the that, right tomato. Yeah, it has to be an apple that I named tomato. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the only way I'm biting it that shit. <laughs> if it's hidden, it's hidden. If somebody was like, This is the one to bite into, I'd be like, All right. uh, <laughs> You say so. But like if you're gonna bite into a tomato, this is the one. Like I'm this like, is the right. tomato. I wanna take that from like a farmer. Like I wanna yep. you, you gotta know it's life from a seed. Yep. Or a plant. Yeah. If right? you ever taste to one plant. tomato, yep. it must be this tomato. Yeah, if I'm on the farm with Joe and he's like, nigga, bite that shit, I'm I'm have to. Right, <laughs> yeah, no choice, peer pressure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my God, that's mm. what, what, what else you got to do? Huh? What else you got to do? Exactly. Sit in the crib, use a bunch of electricity. Yep. <laughs> like a modern human. Yeah, swinging, pumping that exhaust into the air. Yeah, all that. Gotta get places for shit. You know? yeah. Do you? <laughs> Do you have to get places? Can places get you? Yeah. Yeah. They can manifest places. I guess. That's that's more eco friendly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that that's the new slogan. <laughs> Manifestation is more eco friendly. Yep. I guess that's what Postmates is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, pretty much. That, that, <laughs> I mean, that's what yeah. it's become. Right. That's yeah. tight. Right. Ultimate access. It's crazy thinking about, like, I just watched the Nirvana interview, or not interview, documentary, and um, it was just like, it's crazy how Kanye and Nirvana, like, both had to, like, be hella persistent on being themselves, mm. like, to be great. Like, nobody really was fucking with them. Like, Nirvana... The executive, like, they finally got to the point where, like, they performed in front of some executives for, like, a record deal, and they're just like, nah, these niggas ain't that cold. Like, <laughs> I don't even really like these. I don't niggas. get it. Like, I don't get it. And it's just like, damn, man, if they weren't persistent, it's just like, yo, they could have just been another band in Seattle, which yeah. there was plenty at the time. <laughs> mm. It's just like, man. Yeah, having that, having that drive. Gotta gotta have to drive to to oh. persist. Yeah, and just fucking being lucky, cause it's just like, true. yo, it's just Very a matter true. of so many circumstances that, like, <laughs> so many little circumstances they wouldn't even been Nirvana or Kanye wouldn't have been Kanye. It was just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, things play out like they're gonna play out. Uh, even well, at, at least for me, I I don't I don't I don't really think like it's it's fully up to you. You know, yeah. like it's. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Yeah. You know, like however it's gonna play out, it's gonna play out. Even if you don't think it's playing out the way that you need it to play out. Yeah. It's still go j- just just like you were saying, like life goes on w- without you. Like you could be sitting there mad as shit. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> like like having 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 a kid or, or like raising a kid. I, I know like y'all not in the same situation, yeah. but but like. You know, like seeing seeing like children get upset, it kind of makes you like realize how insignificant like your anger is sometimes. Yeah. You know, it's like damn, like you was really mad that like the day didn't go your way. That's funny. Yeah. You know, you 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 mad that like you can't go for a walk this way. You you know you 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 mad that somebody cut in front of you like you got a fucking car like you, you know like there, there's there's so much shit that that is like all right well it's like, ain't really significant yeah. that you it's like, upset your, your perspective on like the kids perspective it's mm-hmm. like it, it fits both ways mm-hmm. yeah that's cool with me that's mm-hmm. a cool little concept reminder guys yeah I was a little homie man shut up you know little <laughs> boy. Goodbye. Yeah, dude. The perspective on everything, I feel like, is everything. It's just true. like, you Very know, true. if you want to be, oh, if you want to like be good at something, it's just like you got to think about it in a good way, in a way, like, yeah, fucking, because it's just like, yeah, you can look at a situation like I live in a studio apartment and I fucking 
am not a millionaire. <laughs> and But it's just like, I fucking could be. And it's just like, I, I look at everything now as like, yeah, fucking, you know, I'm trying, I don't know how to word it exactly. Like, looking at everything, like, the small things is are huge to me now. Like, right. yeah. yeah, it's just like, I can look at me not having a lot of money, but the money that I do have, what I can do with it. Exactly. Like, instead of, True. like, thinking about what I don't have, think about what you do have, and, like, think about who you have around you. Because right. I always find out that I be looking for people to invest in me, and then I find somebody who does, and it's, like, somebody I never even expected because they were, like, right next to me the whole mm -hmm. time when I was mm -hmm. looking everywhere else for somewhere, like, somebody else to do it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's easier to, like, not, not that we, like, seek validation from, like, outside sources, but it, it's just, like... It, it it's kind of that that's the last place you look like mm -hmm. like when it's like super close to you that it's like it's it's gonna come from somewhere else you know it, it's it's always gonna come from somewhere else yeah uh but but you were saying um like i'm i'm losing track of like the the um the specific point that you said it <laughs> but um essentially um you can make the like it's it's important to have the choice you, you, you know like if you at least have the choice like oh i oh i, I remember now the the like you're like i'm in a studio apartment but like i could be a millionaire yeah. it's like even having the thought that you could is like you breaking out of that bubble because mm -hmm. yeah. when you're just trapped inside that bubble you could just be there like oh damn like life sucks like this is this like i can't do this which is true but whatever but it's like how you go change it yeah. You're not going to change it by just sitting there being mad. It's just going to put you back multiple steps every right. second that you're just sitting there frustrated. Yep. And then it's like, are you going to change it or are you not going to change it? Because if you're not going to change it, then fuck it. Yeah. And it's and it, like, it just really goes back to what you see in your head. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, whatever outcome you see in your head is going to play out. And it's like, it's a constant thing. It's, it's literally like at every waking moment. So I feel like people creating that reality because they don't see themselves out of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're literally like, this is the situation. So that's becoming the situation. But you know what I'm saying? You focus on, on the good aspects of it, then, you know what I'm saying? And just keep that and don't let the thought of it not happening come in then right, it'll just right. you know what i'm saying it'll constantly be that that the good thing that you're focusing on so i think that's what it, you know what i'm saying it's, it really contributes to yeah and it's like having that idea like ideas are so important because it's just like they're literally everything it's just like somebody hasn't somebody had an idea to build this place that we're in right now like yeah. it was in some niggas head to be like i'm about to build a fucking building and now we're in it and doing something else in here and it's just like you can literally have the idea to do anything it's just like what you're going to dedicate your thoughts and like right. yourself to actually doing that and that's the coolest thing about like each day you know because it's like all right you get to choose to do something mm -hmm. you know it's like now whether your choice is to not do any your choice could be to not do anything mm -hmm. which yeah. is fine some days you know yeah. like resting is important um but you know you get to choose you get to make the choice to do what you want yeah yeah because like you can sit around and complain but it's just like yeah did you actually do anything towards that it's just like yeah you can you can literally make anything happen that you want to for the most part it's right it's like i don't know just fucking committing to it i think is important yeah very true very true as a as a thread like throughout your life what's what's something that that you are scratch not not really scratch that but i'm gonna like explain a different part of that it didn't, you know keep keep that thought right. we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so would the the you from like let's say 10 years ago would you like the you from now would you accept the the the, the you from now yeah yeah 
I feel like we talk about this a lot, like our younger selves. Like I feel like we essentially as people just like do shit just to make our young self happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like, yeah. This Do you think that, that you're on that path that, that the younger version of yourself was, was on? Or did it like or did you deviate from it? Oh yeah. For better or for worse? Um I'm definitely still on that path. Mm-hmm. And uh I feel like I've progressed. Um, you know. Uh ten years ago was two thousand twelve. So. The end of the world. We're in fake land, fake news, fake reality, fake news, alert, alert, nothing's real. Yeah, that's actually crazy. But yeah, so I was, uh, damn, what was I? I was in the Bay. So oh, you, yeah, you was still up there. Mm-hmm. All us was down here. That was Visions of Utopia. Yeah. Yep. It's crazy, like, sometimes I think about moments of my life according to my albums. Like, <laughs> Literally the only way I keep track of stuff. Yep, like snapshot. It's a snapshot. I swear, bro. It's like when did when did I release this album? Oh yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. It's it's a luxury. It's a cheat code because it's like oh everybody don't get that luxury. It's like I could I could rewind. I could feel exactly how I felt way back then. Yeah. Awesome. No, I think I yeah I would I would definitely be happy with where I am for sure. Ten years old, that was the. Ten years ago, me now would see me now, and you know, just be happy with uh, how stable I am. I think, uh, you know, if I got to sit down and have a conversation with him and told him everything that I've accomplished personally in those ten years, I think he'd be like, "Dang, clamp it up, yeah, <laughs> clamp it up." consistency of like just you doing you for 10 years is just like an accomplishment alone yeah. it's just mm-hmm. like very true it's hard to stick to that path there's so many things like fucking misguiding people from what they want to be doing and it's not it's not their fault it's kind of the world's fault and like yeah. how things happen because it's just like my fucking family member can die and i can end up taking a whole different path of what uh what i planned on doing in life but it's just like also with that said too it's just like just because something like that big happens it doesn't mean that you have to steer away from that either like Mm -hmm. you can be on your path the whole time and not like separate not ever lose that so it can actually have the opposite effect and strengthen you exactly you know what i'm saying make you call on that path even harder it can and then even like even in those situations sometimes that deviation or like that blockade could lead to a deviation that finds like a new path that is the right path right you know um, yeah. but just the the consistency and the and the passion and just like believing in yourself like with whatever you want to do mm-hmm. you know cuz that's the only way you're going you're not going to get nowhere not believing in yourself so, so like, like why would facts. you you know, like who who gonna if you think you if you wanna if you wanna be something you you just gonna you not go believe in yourself yeah. that that don't that don't even sound right it's like I wanna I wanna be right I wanna do this but like I I I can't do it so but I want it though I want it a lot though yeah. I I can't do it though but I want it yeah believing in yourself is damn near all you need because it's mm-hmm. like. I feel like especially as an artist is just like constantly like resetting things it's like in life like you have to just reset and start from scratch and it's just like how many times are you willing to do that exactly it's like because i'm gonna do it forever like but that's just me like a lot of people in life like don't have that in them like exactly. to be like oh i lost everything but i can get it back there's a there, <laughs> there's there's something that that you want you know, like I, like I always say that like I wouldn't wish being an artist upon anybody. You know, like people like it's so cool that you get to make music and you get to do this, this, this. and it's like yeah, but then like it's the the burden of of like one you you're completely vulnerable, you know, at 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 all times, and and then like. This shit not really financially like smart. <laughs> it's actually stupid. Like, it's dumb as hell. It's financially 
it's Shout just out. super <laughs> stupid you know and even when it works out like people think that like even when like people get on and, and do all this stuff that that like d- no that doesn't mean that it's working yeah. that means like in most times that means that you're in you're in a situation where you have a loan that's worth a lot of money and then you yeah. got to pay all that fucking money back uh but you get to look cool for a little bit you know that that's nice i guess Looking cool is important nowadays. It's starting to become less important though. I feel. Yeah. Which is great. People, yeah. people being that it's more okay to be yourself. Which, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. That's yeah, it's all I ever really been fighting for is for niggas to just be themselves. Cause like my whole life, I just been me and like watching people not be themselves and like nigga this ain't you like right. I see you it's annoying i tweet about yeah, it all annoying. the time it's like my number one thing in life it's like i just wish everybody would be them like yeah shit could be way smoother if everybody was playing their part and like was just in tune with themselves like it's a lot of cap going on and it's just <laughs> like it don't have to be <laughs> like right. it's just an unnecessary thing in the world a lot of people don't understand the importance of knowing yourself, though. Yeah. You, you, you know, like, it, it's not even a factor. It, it, it's just like, oh, I got to make money. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. But but do you know who you are, though? Yeah. Like, that, that's, that should be the first. Like, stop trying to do all this stuff. Who are you and what do you want? Yeah. That should be the first, the first thing. And then it's like, all right, well, now how do we get what you want? What are the steps? Because a lot of people want stuff, but then... It's like, are you willing to do the steps? No. So, well, do you, do you want it? Do right. you, you know you don't really want it? You just want to sit there and have stuff magically change. And even when you like manifest stuff, it's like you you manifest the work. Mm-hmm. You manifest being put in situations where you can do work. Right. You know, like uh, 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 stuff. That, that that's just my perspective on it. You know, there's opportunity at all times if you if you make it. Mm-hmm. You know, now it's like, now like, will it work every time? More than likely not. <laughs> but it is it's just like, well, you could just not try, and that's boring. Right. You know. And then you get a result that you know you're gonna get if you don't try. Right. Not, yeah, and that that's safe. <laughs> that's safe. You know. For real. That's why I like. A lot of the times, like, when I was younger, I used to pray, like, to God and just, like, pray for a direct thing. Like, you mm-hmm. know, God, give me this car. Like, God, give me fucking anything. Because, like, I just thought that's how it worked. But yeah. then just, like, knowing knowing more now, it's just, like, when I pray, like, I just pray for, like, the things behind, like, what, like, the steps to that, like, mm. God, just, like, give me, like, focus, help me focus right. so I can actually right, right. get to my goals instead of asking for the Lamborghini, because, mm. yeah. like, that's realistic, and it's, like, whether or not you believe in God or not, but it's just, like, that process is important mm-hmm. to just know, like, yeah, shit just don't end up in your fucking lap. Right. <laughs> like, you can't just say big twist to give me that talker. Like, <laughs> <talk is there. laughs> yeah, the process the same the process is the same whether you like attach God to it or not. You know, right, like right. you still gotta do the same stuff. Yeah. You know, you still gotta believe. You still gotta have faith. It's all the same. Yeah. Big fox. Big fox. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about some ignorant shit. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't know. You guys know that um, fucking they're trying to get rid of the the fucking green Eminem for being a fucking thought. Oh yeah, I think that they were trying to like <laughs> they pretty much like heels. Like, they, put, money they, they did the campaign in, in heels. Mm-hmm. Why do people care? Yeah, it's the craziest it's thing. A, it's a it's a 3D animated. <laughs> digital thing you know why why do why do we have opinions on that i don't know i mean my dick definitely was not getting hard over the <laughs> you sure <laughs> not a little bit <laughs> not a look <laughs> not a little bit anybody else I mean, not a little bit <laughs> some people like green no no judging no judging like, no judging, <laughs> no judging. <laughs> you know you can touch on your your green m&ms in the corner do your thing <laughs> Light the candles. 
Light the candles, play some Keep Sweat. <laughs> Do some hot yoga. Let the let the let the the green in it let it let it like melt into like the pool. <laughs> then you can like like wipe it on your body. Hey yo! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody's watching. Real this real this intimate. Right now, oh, like, yeah. hell yeah. Real intimate. I'm just I'm I'm here to help. It's like the point zero one percent. <laughs> Their audience is gonna watch this and be like, oh, "Shit, look at the Jergens." Yeah, this is this is for you. Replay that part. Replay that part. Only the greens. <laughs> All greens. Yep. Oh my god. You gotta hurry up before they go. Oh my god. Then now it's now it's more important. <laughs> now it's like your life's mission. <laughs> You gotta get all the green M and M's. You get this. This can this can only be y'all's relationship. Oh my god, <laughs> that's fucking good. Good luck. What's with the what was with the decision to to be all ice creamed out today? Is uh, you don't got the shoes on right now, but you did you did come in wearing the beepers. Yes, I the, did. Boutiques. I did the, the boutiques. The boutiques. Uh-huh. What number? I don't know the number. I did I, I didn't memorize that, but. uh I could look in the in the tell him. See. Yeah, the, 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 it's it's a number. <laughs> it's, it's a number. Yeah, I, you know. That, Official that's voice. A decision I make. It's just you know one day I decided and it actually goes back to what we were talking about, uh, like making your younger self like you know what I'm saying happy and shit. Mm-hmm. I was I always you know wanted the fucking boutiques and. Uh, I mean, for one, I could never find any my size. For two, I couldn't afford them hoes, <laughs> even if I could. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, now that I have like a, a good amount of, of money, of boutiques, money, I, boutiques. <laughs> I, wear <them. laughs> I wear them. You know what I'm saying? Because one, I still like the design a lot. Yeah, no, they're, they're great shoes. Uh, yeah, they're very durable. And the box. The box, I the, box, have all the, box the leather, too. the box, Everything. the shoehorn, oh the like, experience is so great. Yes, I is. wish I didn't skate in my, my dices. I, I had the dice ones. I, I was so like, I'm skating. Yeah. They got a skate team. Yeah. These are my favorite shoes. I'm still skating in them. Yeah. I ain't, that, that's one thing I'll be pissed off about my, my younger self. I'll be like, bro, take them shoes off. <laughs> Just put them, put them back in the box. Right. Go skate in the vans. Skate in the vans. Skate in the vans. Skate in the vans. Save oh, those for me them. later in life. I just want them. That's it. <laughs> now I can't find them because they don't make them anymore. And Not yet, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna still get, get some like from, from like a private stash. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the 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 either either Nigo or Pharrell got a private stash. I'm, <laughs> I'm or King there. of Creams. King I'm of Creams has there. all of them. I'm running through there. That man, King of Creams. Who's that? Uh, King of Creams on on Instagram, I'm, and he has I'm a YouTube be. channel. Uh, it's uh Creams with a Z though at the end. Mm. And uh, yeah, man, this guy's a collector. He has not not just ice creams, but so you got, got all of them. It's, it's all of them. Shout out, sell, shout out. I don't think he sell. I think he just, just collect. Like, That's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, set like reselling shoes is kind of kind of sus. Man, like, that's, uh, that's the trap right now. Though. It it is, yeah. but but it's it's sus because I I have to pay a price that I don't want to pay. Yeah, and they did. And people don't even be wearing their shoes. Like it's it's a shoe. Wear the shoe. Yeah. Come on, wear the shoe. Wear the shoe. Show. Like last year or like the last two years, they 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 fucked up every every everything because everything is like a like a limited drop. It's super hype. Everything got a queue now. Like it's weird. You got to go to an app to get you know get in a raffle for like even video games and shit. Yep. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Times man. change. Secret game is crazy. That's why I just buy all the shit that I wanted to wear back in the day. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm not even. I ain't even hit to what's new right now. And if it is, it's some shit that I just saw, you know what I'm saying, out the blue and was like, these are tight. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't even gonna tell. I'm not hip to like the news. I am not hip to the news. I, follow, the news. I still follow Bates and shit. Like, 
I gotta, I gotta check back in on Vape. They're doing some really cool things right now. But Nico sold the. Fucking the game up. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to buy from no site. Don't even, don't even try it. I saw that they kind of like redesigned how the the like vapesters look. And then yeah. they got oh, the yeah, then they got the the skate the skates the the skate ones too right. Yep. Yeah, I I don't like how either of those look. Yeah. Yeah, Nico's got human made now. Yeah, yeah human made's cool. cool. Um. Been owned by Nico for like ten years. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> what was what was the one with the bubble? The uh, the older the, one. With the little bubble in the heel. Mm hmm. I forgot what it was called. Those, what? Were, those what? were cool. It was a bait shoe? Like the, the bigger bigger one. Yeah, those are called. I specifically remember oh, yeah, a colorway yeah, that was yeah, like called, it was like pink and blue, like metallic pink yeah, yeah, and blue yeah, yeah. with the Yeah. I only had like one pair of of babe babe no were they? No. They they were called something else. They were roadsters. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's the, I said the bubble. I'm not super like Nike out, so I don't know. Alright, word. Word, word. Word B. Yeah, but yeah, the 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 road the roadsters. Those those I like those a lot. The um, what were your favorite out of all the 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 boutique releases? The ice creams, Mr. Oh ice Cream. Oh my God! The ones I wish I could still get my hands on right now are the big diamond and dollar flavor, uh, flavor, uh, like the, the big, not ones? the mini ones. Yes, the white and black ones with the oh, red the, sole. The, the 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 like holy grail ones. And yes, yes. That's, that's that one. Yes. I don't want that one. Oh, I feel bad. Those are the ones that are like beige and navy blue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like those, those. Those, the beige and navy blue those are tight. Like the vanilla looking. Yes. That yes. One and the and the white and black one with the red. I don't color. like the white and the the yeah. Those are my holy grails. I ain't gonna cap. That shoe was so tight because like you could hold it up and it would be the like the astronaut mm-hmm. doing the thing. I really wanted the. Um, the blue money rolls. Uh, you you remember those? The blue were were they were, they, uh, were the money rolls like magenta? Nah. Okay. Nah, it was blue and blue. Blue and blue. It was like Which the blue was darker. The money rolls were darker. I think I do remember those. Yeah, those. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. like I wanted all the women's ones. I wanted like the teddy bear ones, the the little the lipstick ones, the names. The, the necklace tag. I almost got married. I almost got my girlfriend a pair of the. Uh, That's hard. Of the, uh, I think it was the lipstick ones. That's hard. And then the. Um, but she's the, not like a big sneaker head and shit. But I was fuck like, that. We were I'm like, getting you these shoes. shoes. <laughs> Just wear them one time. Right. Like that. That would be that would be like super cool. Like both of y'all got the ice creams on, and you just step out. Yeah, no. We will step. <laughs> we will step. <laughs> That's tight. What you smoking on? Uh, gush mints. Gush mints. Uh, smoking on gush mints. You got gush in it? It's a little gushy. A little gush. Let the pussy just gush. How you feel about that girl album by Pharrell? <laughs> <laughs> That song is so weird. <laughs> There's so many awkward moments on that album. That was creepy. <laughs> A lot of creepy moments on that album. <laughs> the beats are cool, though. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> did he ever release the instrumental version of that? Like know. he did with In My Mind? I wish. Cause this is a good instrumental. <laughs> would, that would be so fun. I would never play that song again. I still like, don't. I mean, I still like, don't listen to that song. <laughs> the only song I would listen to from girl, when when Girl comes back on, like on Shuffle, uh, what's the 
what's uh what's the last song? Oh, the It Girl. I love that song. That's a great. I don't think I listened that far. I ain't like that album a lot. No. I think yeah, it's not it's not one of All all respect to to Pharrell. Uh, oh, yeah. One of one of my favorite yes. producers and yeah. artists and creative people in general, but yes. that album was not it for me. No, it wasn't the it girl for you. <laughs> it ain't it ain't it, it, it but but I I ain't I ain't everybody. I'm yeah. just I'm just me. I like what I like. Has there ever been a time that you you felt like you were stuck in a loop like mentally? And and how did how did you how did you get out of that? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think there was one point in time where um, lighter flick. <laughs> One upon t- once upon a time I was flicking the lighter. So you wasted. Damn. Let me see. I've been. I mean, there's been a lot of times I was stuck in the loop, but I'm mm-hmm. trying to figure out how to articulate this a little best. Oh, well, why you ponder? How about you? Um, a loop. I don't know. I feel like I'm constantly in a loop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. It's- of sorts. all the time like i do the same things and i don't know i feel like it's more adapting to like being in the loop at this point it's like because i already know that it's gonna come back around like i'm just gonna be on the same shit but like making it better in the loop next right. time around. yeah like fucking figuring out how i can fucking come back around and fucking hit it different than i did right. before because you you ever heard of this game called death loop Mm-mm. so it's it's exactly like that so like you you have like a day and then at the end of the day it just keeps repeating uh yeah. and like you gotta like kill these like nine people by the end of the day and like everyone on the island is trying to you know but each day like you learn more stuff you figure out the plan That's you do hard. you know That's reapproach it yeah. yeah i mean i feel like it's that like I feel like if I died and came back, I would still probably do the same shit, even though, like, I knew, like, I knew a better way, like, yeah. it's just, like, some mm. shit is just, like, embedded in me to the point of, like, I just think it's, like, the core of me to, like, make certain mistakes and, like, well, maybe they might not be mistakes, but, like, do things the way that right, I Right, yeah. Yeah. It's like that uh, show, you seen Russian Doll? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that show is, is like that too. Yeah, she ended up fucking becoming black and had to figure out what the hell was going on. She's a cutie. <laughs> Natasha Leon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, big dope. big big cutie. Apparently that movie is like based on, you know, another concept of uh Groundhog Day. Oh, I, yeah. I never saw that. The movie cr- yeah. the show the did, Day. it's a, or just just the the groundhog the groundhog yeah, groundhog out the, with, with that the, same with concept the it's like a guy stuck in a time mm-hmm. loop mm-hmm. but i don't think it's as graphic as him dying every day is it <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't know yeah mm-hmm. i think russian doll that was like it's twist Extreme. and then there was that fucking joey badass movie where he gets shot by that cop every day <laughs> like, it's so bad yeah thank you thank you he admitted i actually watched a podcast the other day he was on this podcast uh lip service by angela ye oh yeah 106 but they brought up that movie and he was like yeah man <laughs> that wasn't it that was good it's good joey badass i'm glad you feel that way about that movie glad, glad, I did you, too. glad you recommend i won't watch it <laughs> I'll take you all the advice and you can't be serious to that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, we cool. we all learn and sometimes we do shit we ain't proud of. So go ahead and move on. Yep. Yeah. Um, continue. So, yeah, I ain't charging it to him. It's not like he wrote well, did he? No. Uh, don't think don't think too much into it. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> Constant circles, man. Yeah, always, always. Loop-dee-loop, loop-dee-loop. There we go. 
You make a loop de loop and pull. Then your shoes are looking. You got an ashtray? The world is my ashtray. Alright. You got a world <laughs> I can use. Spare world on you. <laughs> you got a you got a spare world. I have an ashtray, but it, I don't feel like getting it. This is the ashtray. Is it? It's a top. Don't lie. <laughs> is ashtray now? Don't lie. Saying? No. Respected, Disrespected my, my top. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Disrespected <laughs> my whole blouse. <laughs> my whole blouse is ruined. <laughs> That's a great lie to have said. <laughs> I ain't saying pause either. We won't yeah, believe in that. No, I, know, no, I know some New York niggas watching this like, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo, somebody. Yeah, please. I know what we're saying. <laughs> I'm going to do it for you. And I'm saying, bro, I swear. You're on the floor running you, out of air. This is, this is a fill in your own pause adventure. You, you, can, you can do it whenever you want. Go ahead. I'm a living pause. You say it. Wayne from Lollipop is fucking mad <laughs> at you. No homo, no. Oh, God. <laughs> RIP the static major, man. Yeah. True. True, true. Yeah. Uh, so y'all be, y'all also be rapping together. Yep. Y'all be verse, verse slinging. Yes, y'all sir. be vernaculated. Mm-hmm. We got two projects out. Mm-hmm. What they call it? What they sound like? How they go? Grease trap and spit shine. How it go? Both of them are ten songs each, fully produced by me, me and my boy Malcolm. You know what I'm saying? Rapping the first one, grease trap is a lot more bouncy. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You play that in the whip. You play that in the function, whip. You know What's what the whip? The whip. What's that? If you don't know, like what the a. Whip is, nay, nay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, one of those. You can yeah. play it within that? Yeah. In the inside of, of the nay nay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Spit shine. Spit shine is like. That sounds nasty. Yeah. It's, uh, it is. Mm. But it's like, <laughs> it's kind of another one of those dual things. I don't know. I think I just subconsciously do that mm. when I'm making albums. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, that, yeah. I feel different ways on different days. You know what I'm saying? Fucking ego and trip, fucking grease trap and spit shine, like Mr. Different. Yeah, that's true. Cause I'm different. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, never let that fucking go. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, high school memories. Oh yeah, high school. You have that song? I've got all of the contrary, man. Quite the contrary is my first. Yeah. Quite the contrary is my first project ever. You'll never find it. I'm leaking it. I'm leaking it tonight. (laughs) No, it's not. It was on that piss, but I took the access. I took it off. You, you didn't. You didn't. I took it offline. It's like a click of a button where you can make it accessible offline or online. It's offline. That's rare. No, that's you know. Erase. Beginners type shit. You'll never hear that. I got a song produced by Matt Martians on there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Matt. You know, how's production on there? We got, yeah. we got, uh, we recorded that in like my mom's basement, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That was a time major. with Suburbia. Yep. Around Suburbia. You, we were recording your album while we were working on the NRK album. I would not, well, uh, you talking about no, Quite the Contrary? Time, yeah. No, Quite no. the Contrary, we were, uh, it Quite was the Goodwill. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the time. time. Google is still out there, I think. Mm-hmm. Google is still on like that piss. Yeah. I like Goodwill. That was the time. You sure? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> they, be, they be having clothes. Yeah. They got stuff. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Don't, forget, lot of fits there. don't forget items. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smells. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hangers. All that. Hangers. That it's true. always something new in there. Yeah, there's yeah, a dope one by old. my crib. Mm-hmm. That big, that big one. When, when the last That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. When, mm-hmm. when the last time you went thrifting? Probably when we uh. Went to uh, what you call it? American Vintage Echo Park. Yup. Damn, shit, the fuck that. Can you bleep that? 
Nowhere, man. Ignore what we just I said. I seen Slug Christ, man, last time. Nowhere. One time when I was in there. Oh, where? Like, Shout out to homie Chad, man. Slizzle C. Oh, shit, my mic is. Slug got a, uh, he got a feature on Mickey Blanco's next album. Mm. I got to hear that when I was doing my feature on, on the last one. Mm. And, uh, features. It's a ghost song. Ex- explain the experience of doing a feature to somebody that doesn't do features. Uh, that has not experienced doing a feature. Well, that first doesn't time. make music. Yeah. That 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 works on a farm. How would you how would you pitch this? Pitch this to them. I'd be like, first of all, why the fuck? Mid, would, mid, why mid do you want to know this? Bro, literally, you live on a farm, boy. Please, please. I'd be like, what? Why do you? What is this important? What am I doing here, bro? People got dreams. It's like we got a lot of questions. I got more questions than me answering this nigga question. I need some questions answered. It's like I don't even drink milk. Nah, I would, uh, do the feature shit. I'd be like, all right, check this out. First of all, you want to be in the same room with this person. You know, there's this thing called email, right? Mm-hmm. And you can send things through that. What the E stand for? What the fuck does the E stand for? Electronic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was about to say Ethernet mail. <laughs> yeah. Ethernet mail. Electronic, that's right. I did that. The gush man smell that shit hit, like. Make you forget what the E means. That's right on the box. Make you forget what the E (laughs) means. The E means. Specifically. I can't with y'all, man. Yeah, man. But then you will be in the room with that person. They lay the verse. Or whatever part they're gonna leave a spot open for you. You hop on there, you dig the vibe of the song. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go off of what they going off. You don't want your verse to just be on some totally random shit, like you know, unless you're Lil B. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uppercase or lowercase? Lil B, the bass guy. Uh, Which bass? Uppercase. Which bass? Did you hear a song that he did a feature for somebody one time and dissed the guy who <laughs> he did the feature for? <laughs> Yo, that shit was. Oh, hey, hey, you you pay you pay for me to get on the track. That shit was so you ain't you funny. ain't pay for me to say nothing like, positive I about you. Cry like the first person to do first dude on this song. <laughs> he be crying like a little bitch. Like, bro, that shit be dying. I gotta find that shit, man. That was a time as well. Oh yeah. A T I M E. Man. Yeah. All that. Tomorrow. Asthma. Y'all making any of them ass mister (laughs) I'm looking for ass mister videos mom You're going to be on the internet for a long time my boy (laughs) I'm just just trying to find the ass mister section